back, everybody. After a bin by Jeremiah Kent, the Missouri Tigers take the lead in the duel for the first time. 18 to 16. Alongside Matt Manley, I'm Bo Bayman. Glad you could join us on this Saturday afternoon in Columbia, Missouri, as we move to 197 pounds. It's fifth-ranked Rocky Elam at 3-0, taking on Noah Glazer of the Panthers. Glazer comes in at 2-2. Two two. Matt mentioned the last time these two wrestled, it was last year they wrestled at a neutral site. It was in Ames, Iowa, and Missouri won 34-6. So, Matt, to your point, the Panthers were ready as Elam gets a takedown for two. The Panthers were ready to come back and get a little revenge today. Yeah, they were, and I mean, they've wrestled with absolute 100% energy every match today. I mean, they fought for every point, and they've really looked great in this showing. Elam up two to nothing already. And Glazer trying to break the grasp of Elam. Elam building his riding time as we speak, and he's trying to build something more than that into bonus points. Glazer's on his feet. Rocky trying to return him. Hasn't yet, but now he does. Near the edge of the mat, they'll go out of bounds. Riding time at about 35 seconds. Here in the first 51. Rocky Elam. There's the escape for Glazer. Rocky Elam, the technically a freshman from Kansas City, as Elam will get around him for two. What a snap by Elam there. Brought Glazer all the way down to his belly, it looked like, off that snap. It was the number nine, or number seven seed, I should say, at 197 pounds last year at the NCAAs. And he finished as an All-American in fifth place. He's the world junior champion of 2021 at 92 kilos. 3-0 on the year. He's won by major decision, fall, and technical fall. And he leads here 4-1 to one with 90 seconds of riding time already. About a minute left here. He could turn him loose right there. Yep. He's got time to go in another takedown. See if Rocky moves back toward the center a little bit. Nope. He's going to stay on the outer edges. Goes in on Glazer's leg. Picks him up. Good and high crotch there by Rocky. He doesn't doesn't shoot too many high crotches. And no point yet. As Glazer sort of gets back to his feet. They'll go out of bounds because Glazer touched the wood off the mat. So 4-2, just under 30 seconds to go. Now 15, time for Elam to go for a shot. He gets one there, trying to complete it. He does with seven seconds to go in the period. The first period's gonna end up with Rocky Elam leading six to two. Textbook, Rocky Elam single leg here. Gets his shoulder behind, gets the corner, chases down the far leg, picks up the takedown. Rocky will choose down to start the second. And as Matt mentioned, there's a false start against Glazer. As Matt mentioned, Rocky Elam looking for some bonus points here in this match. As Missouri leads the duel by just two. Elam was to his feet. Good job by Glazer to return him there. Glazer trying to squeeze Rocky. 
Elam kind of gathering his stealth, his self, trying to break the wrist. He does. And they're back to neutral. Give Rocky a point, seven to two. Leading by five. 120 to go here in the second. Rocky needs to stay on his offense here if he's going to continue his bonus point streak. Needs to take down this period. And Glazer coming alive here. Yeah, better than the aggressor here. As Elam goes for a shot, he's in on the left leg of Glazer. Can he finish it off? Hasn't yet. No points. And it looks like Looks like Rocky's trying to build something more. He'll come over the top and take the two. Looks like we're going to have a little blood time maybe after this. Somebody's dripping blood. Laser trying to get up, but they'll go out of bounds. I think it's Rocky. I think you're right. Yep, you can see it right there. Rocky looked like he might have been trying to hide it from the referee there and keep wrestling. You better check over on the, yeah, near the side of the mat there. I want to remind you that this is a tri-team day. You and I will wrestle Virginia Tech next, and then tonight it'll be number 10, Virginia Tech, and number three, Missouri. Just some of the matches you see right there which we're looking forward to. Two matches in one day is tough, and then when you <laughs> wrestle number 17 and number 10 and number three, that's a heck of a day in the Hearn Center. Absolutely. All the ranked matchups. The returning national champion in Mikai Lewis. Going to be some good ones ahead here, and you know, a chance for a lot of these Tigers who lost in this duel to bounce back, you know, immediately. Is that right, man? And a lot of ranked wrestlers on both sides, as Matt mentioned. It, the one tonight is going to be outstanding. That's a 6 o'clock Central, 7 Eastern start to that one. All right, we're ready to wrestle again. 32 seconds to go in the second period here at 197. Rocky Elam in the white, leading 9-2 to two over Noah Glazer. Riding time, by the way, is approaching two minutes for Rocky Elam. Elam trying to build something here in the final 12 seconds. And that'll be the end of the period. So nine to two, seven point lead as Glazer chooses down. And to your point, if he wants to get some bonus points, he's, he's either going to have to ride him out, or if he gets up, he's going to have to take down Glazer again. Let's see what he does here. Rocky's so good on top. His riding time is almost to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. It'll stop at 2.26. It's nine to three. So Elam will need a takedown here if he wants to pick up a major. Rocky doing a good job hand fighting here. Trying to get around Glazer. Glazer trying to hold on. And now Rocky trying to dig in. Still 65 seconds to go here in the third, and they'll stalemate it and go back to the middle. 9-3 in favor of Rocky Elam. He does have a bonus point for riding time locked up. But if he wants to pick up a bonus point for the match, he's going to need a takedown. 
45 seconds. Elam goes in on a leg. Now he's got two in the takedown. And now we're going to see. I think Glazer's not going to do much, don't you? You never know. You know, <laughs> Coach Schwab, <laughs> he coaches his guys up really well. Looks like a little blood time for Glazer now. So they whistle it with 20 seconds exactly. 11 to 3 in favor of Rocky Elam. Again, he does have that riding time point locked up. Brian Smith telling Rocky, giving him some direction. Two minutes and 39 seconds of riding time as we get back to action here at the center. Glazer trying to get up and out. Nothing yet, still 10 seconds. There's a stall warning on Rocky. There's the escape. And that'll be it. Give him the bonus point for riding time and it's 12-4 the final for Rocky Elam. He moves to 4-0. One match to go.